Here we have the new Zest Kit Ultra High Speed HDMI cable. And this one is certified for HDMI 2.1 or ultra high speed. It's the same price as the one I bought a few months ago that was not certified. And it tells you about HDMI 2 setting tips. I also got an email with this information. And it's got information, features, some other accessories they have. It's in this plastic bag. It's uh, six and a half feet or about two meters. Nicely braided cable. And the ends are protected. Cover with foam and they have a little cover on it, which is always nice. And it's got a Velcro tie to keep it all together. That's handy. All right, so we're going to test this using our Denon 4700H receiver. I'm sure it'll pass. It's certified, but we'll test it anyway just to see how it works out. Nice gold-plated contacts. This is a quality cable. It's only $20. So there's no reason to pay more than this because it's certified and uh, anything more than this is just a waste of money. To prepare for the test, we're actually going to unplug the receiver because that's the only way to actually turn the power completely off for the receiver. If the power button is off on the front, it's still actually on. So here's our HDMI uh, Zest kit we bought originally that's going from here to the TV. And this has been working great. It wasn't certified because there were no certified cables at that time. Now we have a certified one. We're going to test this. And the way you do it is you, you well, I'm going to take this off. And then I'm going to connect this new cable between the monitor, which is uh, eARC, and uh, goes this way. And we're going to go to the 8K, which is the output number 7 on this receiver. So your receiver, if it's different than the 4700H, might have a different uh, number here, but you're going to find the 8K, 8K in and the uh, eARC. You need to connect those two together to do this test. And then uh, I'm going to plug it back in. And we'll set the receiver back up, turn it on, and we'll run the diagnostic test. This receiver to go into the HDMI diagnostic mode, you have to push the back button and the up cursor. So there's a silver circle around the cursor buttons. I always find it easier to press the circle, the silver circle. It's all one button, but it's easier to press that to get it to go into that mode. So. All right, so now we're in HDMI diagnostics. Just going to do a hardware check. Okay, and we want to test. Test four, cable test. Enter, connect the cable. We did that. Start. It's testing the cable. I passed 8K 40 gigabits per second, just as we expected. So this is a certified cable. So if it didn't pass, I'd be really surprised. So this is just a verification that, at least with the cable I got, that Zest Kit is putting out a really high quality cable for a reasonable price, $20, and I recommend it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.